He drifts across the screen like a graceful yet ominous phantom. His cadence lilts with the calm calculation of a viper seeking its prey. This gaunt figure with a husky voice and penetrating gaze has haunted our dreams and nightmares for over half a century. But who is the man behind the myth? The artist we know as Christopher Walken. This video explores the lengthy, storied acting career of this Hollywood icon. We will trace Walken's origins as a lion-taming teen to his rise as one of the most celebrated and eccentric performers in cinema. The video highlights his unforgettable roles across stage and screen, from his Oscar-winning turn in The Deer Hunter to later pop culture phenomena like Fatboy Slim's Weapon of Choice music video. Christopher Walken has captivated audiences for over 60 years with his chilling, hilarious, and always memorable performances. This one-of-a-kind talent continues to work at a prolific pace, and his immutable screen presence has made him a legend. By better understanding Walken's background and observing his evolution as a performer, let's gain insights into the makings of an icon. Early life Walken was born Ronald in Astoria, Queens in 1943. His immigrant parents, Rosalie and Paul, ran a bakery, but young Ronald dreamed of the stage. Walken and his brothers worked as child actors in the 1950s after their mother envisioned stardom for them. The shy boy with a bowl cut could barely keep pace with his brothers during auditions. But while they were out cavorting with child star friends, Walken had adventures of his own. One summer, 15-year-old Walken ran off to join the circus on a whim. Imagine cautious little Walken suddenly wielding a whip and chair, facing down growling lions before stunned crowds. Though his lion taming stint was short-lived, Walken refused to tame the growing creative fire within. From his parents' bakery to the glitter of Hollywood, Walken was still searching for where he belonged, and that hunt would lead him into the jaws of artistic greatness, for this lion cub was not yet ready to be king. Fact hit number one. From an unlikely source, a former boss at a nightclub act, Christopher got his first screen name. Owner Monique Von Voren had playfully dubbed Ronnie Christopher during dance numbers. Somehow, out of her many fake introductions, that one stuck. The man of a thousand faces. After years of smaller theater roles, young Ronnie Walken was hungry for his big break. He found it in 1966, playing the fiery King Philip opposite legend Catherine Hepburn in the Broadway hit The Lion in Winter. Walken threw himself heart and soul into the jealous, scheming monarch, and with his years of dance training, the lean intensity of his stage presence captivated audiences. Hollywood took notice of this lion beginning to bare his teeth. But Walken's theater background couldn't prepare him for the trauma of his agonizing first major film role in 1978's The Deer Hunter, as Nick, a steel worker turned shattering Vietnam pow, Walken deliberately starved himself for authenticity. The emotional depths he plunged day after day left him shaken and exhausted. Still, he persevered, steadfast that Nick's story must be shared. When the troubled vet Walken depicted descended into Russian roulette madness, stunned audiences could scarcely breathe. In bearing that suffering so nakedly, Walken was reborn as an Oscar-winning star. Walken emerged one of Hollywood's greatest shapeshifters, he could chill spines as a Bond villain, then pivot to romance with his blazing song and dance charisma in Pennies from Heaven. His abnormal rhythm and laser focus could unlock surprising new dimensions in any role, be it ruthless gangster or fatherly psychic sage. Walken kept fans riveted, never knowing if his next unnerving glance would unleash laughter or screams. Fact hit number two. Walken has played so many chilling characters, it's hard to picture him as anyone's guardian angel. But he briefly occupied that role, cloaked in cigarette smoke and shadows, in Madonna's 1992 Bad Girl video. The pop provocateur herself insisted Walken add his presence to her music video. By the 1990s, the icon once dubbed Ronnie the Lion had fully embraced his golden mane status. A memorably demented turn as a sewer-dwelling industrialist in Batman Returns proved Walken could steal scenes even covered in goblin makeup and clawing at raw fish. Then the classically trained hoofer shattered all remaining bounds by becoming an award-winning music video dancer 
gliding effortlessly through Fatboy Slim's surreal hotel fantasy. Walkin' the terrifying had become Walkin' the cool. Yet the actor continued alternating between grimacing menace in films like The Prophecy and his legendary SNL More Cowbell comedy sketch. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Ever the lion-stalking divergent creative terrain, Walken kept his original animal instincts sharp beneath the showbiz glitter. And so his legendary status only grew. Walken's criminal grandfather. Walken never knew his mother's father growing up and did not even know the man's name. On a genealogy show, however, documents revealed that his name was Joseph Egan and that he was imprisoned for five years for fencing stolen goods. His mugshot shows a tough, hardened man that Walken concedes he sees a family resemblance to. Egan was sentenced to Pentonville Prison, designed to solitary confinement inmates in silence and isolation nearly around the clock. He was later transferred to perform manual labor. The harsh conditions likely took a severe psychological toll. Walken posits that learning of Egan's criminal past and grim experiences provided an epiphany into why his mother never spoke of her father and embarked alone to America in her 20s to start fresh. The shame and trauma ran too deep to share, even with her own son. The lion speech, on power and dominance. In a dramatic monologue in movie 2002 Pool Hall Junkies, Walken describes a nature documentary about a lion too lazy to initially fend off bothersome scavengers who become increasingly emboldened. Eventually, the noble but patient lion reaches his breaking point and unleashes his full ferocity, tearing the jackals to shreds for failing to respect his supremacy as ruler of the domain. Though using a lion analogy, Walken relates the parable back to people, and that every once in a while the lion has to show the jackals who he is, meaning the dominant force must reassert his strength when subordinates overstep. However, should anyone mistake slightly silly Walken memes for weakness, recall that he remains a classically trained actor who plums psyche depths many contemporaries shy from. That willingness to explore extreme human darkness fills his dramatic work with such authenticity it can still deeply unnerve modern audiences. In other words, he can summon that inner king, present day. While legends fade or retire, the actor once dubbed Ronnie the Lion continues prowling new cinematic terrain at 80 years old. Having mastered spine-tingling drama, screwball comedy, song and dance theatrics, and seemingly everything in over 150 roles. So how does Hollywood's creepiest icon stay artistically hungry? Walken himself explains that he thrives on perpetual reinvention, trying things he's never done to keep himself intrigued and terrified like his recent Disney gig voice acting lounging bear monarch King Louie who busts out dancing and scatting like a zonked jazz club singer. Perfected? Perhaps not. But walk and lapping playfully at some orangutan-infused honeypot. Now that's just strange enough to enthrall new young audiences and reward old fans. Or consider Walken's deviously dry comedic turn in 2022's surreal office, psychological thriller Severance, now on Apple TV. As Burt Goodman, manager of a shadowy corporation's optics and design unit. Walken gets to subtly weaponize his signature halting speech and predatory stare against the show's poor, befuddled protagonists. And this lion with a fluffy new corporate mane alternately unleashes purring wit or bestial threat as it suits his inscrutable motives. Walken acknowledges his persona has solidified over his long career into a layer cake, a tower of layers of oddity. But rather than play it safe within those built-up quirks and catchphrases, he continues reaching for stranger sweet frostings to crown that tower, like a severed corporate overlord riddling his subordinates with dry retorts. Audiences old and new can't predict Walken's next move, but they know that hooded hypnotic gaze through the camera will continue enthralling whatever character he sinks his talents into. Fact hit. Number 3. Walken lent his formidable presence to the disaster theme park ride at Universal Studios. As Frank Kincaid, Walken's giant floating hologram head narrated a fake movie shoot, while casually unleashing actual quakes, explosions, and a crashed subway to thrill riders. 
To wrap up, from his hungry early theater days to Oscar glory and pop culture phenomenon status, Christopher Walken has mesmerized audiences for over 60 years with his chameleonic intensity. This Broadway lion turned Hollywood shape-shifting legend has kept us perpetually unnerved, moved and entertained with his abnormal skills, and at 80 years old the actor shows no sign of losing his status.